in this video, I'm going to be going over the letters T, K, P, Ch, T. So I decided to do a video with these five letters and group them accordingly because these five are hard consonant sounds in Georgian and they also have uh, soft sound pairings. So for those who are starting to learn Georgian, it can be pretty difficult to distinguish uh, between the two. So by making this video, my aim is to help you distinguish between those soft sounds and the hard consonant sounds. So again, the format of this video will be that I'll first demonstrate those letters and how they sound, and then I'll go over how to produce them, kind of what to do with your tongue as well as your mouth and how much air you need to produce. Uh, the third part will be giving you some examples using those letters, and then the fourth part will be comparing those uh, sounds, comparing specifically the soft sounds to the hard sounds so that you can hear the difference. So the five letters that we're covering today are T, T, K, K, P, P, Ch, Ch, T, T. So in general, again, the reason why I group these letters together is because they have, they are hard consonants and they also have soft uh, consonant pairings that they go with. So the, the reason why I bring this up is because in producing these hard consonant sounds, it, they're all very similar in, in what you have to do. So we'll take the first letter, which is T, T, that's the hard T consonant sound. And so it's paired with the soft sound, which is t, t. So we can use this example and talk about how we produce the sound, which is, uh, I'm sure for you, it's, it's very easy to make the t, t. It's just the normal t sound that we have in English. And so the only difference is that your tongue, uh, when you're making that t sound, uh, your tongue is uh, pressing against the top of your mouth and, it, and it's very light. So as the air pushes through, your tongue uh, lets the air through and uh, you produce the T sound. Now to make the hard T sound, the hard consonant T sound, all you're going to do is have the same placement where your tongue is and uh, you're going to push your tongue firmer against the roof of your mouth uh, so that the air kind of almost builds up some more pressure and then you let it through. So It'll be. It'll sound like, t, t. You see, there's like a, a buildup of pressure as your tongue is pushing against the roof of your mouth, and when it finally lets it go, that's what creates that sound. All right. So the, for the second letter, we have k, and so this is the hard consonant sound that's paired with our in English. It's like a k or the uh, like a k as in cat. So it's the same. It's the same idea as, as the previous letter that if we first take the soft sound that we have in English, the k, k, take notice of where your, your tongue is in, in the kind of the back of your mouth. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna force your tongue uh, to the top of your mouth to create more pressure. And it's not only your tongue, I, I notice kind of my whole jaw and my mouth almost becomes tense in order to create that buildup of air so that uh, when you create the soft sound, it's k, you're kind of letting some some air out very gently, but when you make the hard sound, it's like a k, 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 and, and of course that's uh, exaggerated, but just to give you the idea of the the difference in how tense you are when you're making that sound. So for the third letter, we have b, b, in English the, in English our our soft uh, equivalent would be p, p, like play. And so here, instead of your, your tongue going against the top of your mouth, when you make the p sound, p, your, your lips are closing together. So when you make the hard consonant sound, you're going to tighten your lips uh, together so that you create a, a buildup of pressure. So it would be p, p, p. So the fourth letter is going to be ch. So that's the hard sound, and the soft sound equivalent in English would be something like a ch, like cheese. And so here, your tongue, when you make the sound cheese, ch, your tongue is kind of in the front of your mouth and press, press the front top of your, your mouth. And so in this case, to make the hard sound, you just again want to apply more pressure using your tongue to the top of your mouth so that it sounds like 
ch 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 and the fifth letter that we have is going to be t t and the equivalent we don't have it exactly in english so that's why this one's a little bit tricky but the sound is kind of a, a mixture between a t and an s um, maybe for anyone who's who's studied maybe japanese there's something similar which is like tsunami tsunami it's kind of this combination between a t and an s so we would take that soft sound that t and again, it's, it's the same idea. It's the air is coming through without a whole lot of resistance. And so when we take that same form, um, but here it's your tongue. T, t. Again, it's to the top of your mouth. Uh, when you just apply more pressure to the top of your mouth using your tongue and you force the air through, you get t, t, t. All right. So now we're going to go over a, a few examples using those uh, those different letters so that you can see the or hear the difference between uh, the sounds. So the first one is going to be tamo, tamo, tashi, tashi, tamo, tashi. So tamo is a girl's name and tashi is uh, applause or to clap. Uh, the second example is going to be kudi, 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 kudi. Kudi, kudi. So kudi is a hat, and kudi is a, a tail, like a dog's tail. Third example, puli, puli, puri, puri, puli, puri. So puli is money, and puri is bread. Fourth example is cello, cello. Cherry, cherry, cello, cherry. So cello is like cello, like the instrument, and cherry means roof. And the fifth example is tsa, tsa, tsebo, tsebo, tsa, tsebo. So tsa means sky, and uh, tsebo means glue. All right. So for this last part, I'm gonna go over the soft sound in comparison to the hard sounds. Uh, just the individual letters so that you can hear the difference next to each other. I remember early on I was trying to find some videos that would do that for me. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't so it, it made it that much more difficult. Um, I just remember thinking, you know, I had to flip from one video to another video and it was only someone would repeat it maybe once or twice so it wasn't real helpful. So uh, hopefully this will help you out with the sounds. So the first one is going to be T. T. Uh All right, so that's the end of this video. Uh, the next video I'll look to put out will probably be something on another letter that's tricky. There's, there's still another few that I think can give uh, beginners trouble. Uh, again, if you're wondering why I'm doing this video, these videos, uh, the whole idea is to uh, help those studying Georgian to speed up the process for them. Uh, and that's something that I find is very rewarding. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, as they say in Georgian, see you later. They say, Drobit. <laughs>